Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan and welcome to another edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you part one in our series on how to build transition sections and most particularly this is going to be paper transition sections like this one on the Saturn 1B here. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do these curved ones here like on uh, the LexJet kit. Uh, these have to be made using a plastic nose cone. But the advantage of uh, paper is that it's easy and it's cheap. Um, and you can do a lot of neat things with it, like uh, you can make a regular transition like this, which is called a shoulder when the, the small end is in front of the, the big end. Uh, when the small end is at the rear of the rocket, we call these boat tails. And this rocket has a boat tail on it, and this one also has a boat tail on it. Um, now, when you do this, the object of this whole exercise is to create a paper, paper template like this one here. And um, the equations for doing this can be found in a number of books. Uh, the one that I like the best is uh, Model Rocket Design and Construction. And we have a whole, basically a big section here in the book on how to make a paper transition section. And that's what I'm going to be covering here in this video. Let me find it for you here. Uh, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, but pick up the book and that will explain how, how to do it. And get that out of the way here. Um, first off, I recommend uh, to create these transitions. You could follow the instructions that are shown in the book, uh, but it's a lot faster and easier if you use software like Roxim. Uh, Roxim is fast and easy, um, and you get these nice templates like this that are perfect. For creating transition sections, I recommend using the Roxim software. First of all, it's easy. And second, it allows us to look inside the rocket to make sure that everything fits. Here we can see the forward centering ring, the engine mount tube, the aft centering ring, and this ring back here, which I'm going to call the aft attachment ring. Well, I'm not going to go through the steps to create this, the transition in the Roxim software. I am going to go through a couple of things that are important when using the Roxim software. First, the shape must be set to conical. Otherwise, we cannot make that out of paper because paper can only be made into a conical shape. Second, the transition cannot have any shoulders on it. The shoulders are the part that go into the body tube. So in Roxim, you'll need to clear these out. Click on the shoulder tab and then click on the buttons that say clear shoulder values. And third, we must set the construction to hollow because after all, we are going to be creating a hollow transition. You must do these three things in order to export or, tr or print out a template to create the actual shroud. There's one other important thing that I want you to do. The small diameter of the transition is set to the actual diameter of the tube that it slips onto. But what I want you to do is to add a little bit extra to the diameter so the actual shroud will slide over the top of the tube. So what I want you to do is to add 0 .006 inches to the outside diameter of that small tube. So on this particular rocket, I'm going to make the tube from 0.976 to 0.982 inches. And then when we print it out, it will be an exact match. Once you go to print out your template, it's going to look something like this. You'll have a paper and the transition will be printed on the paper. Now it may be oriented a little bit different, but that's okay. The gray portion is the part that you're going to use. Now I want to tell you a little secret. Uh, my first uh, transition uh, when I was uh, in, in my youth was uh, something that kind of looked like this. Um, basically I had the transition uh, between two tubes, uh, but uh, the transition was crooked and the tube was crooked. And the reason for that is there's no internal structure inside. And that's the critical part about making a transition. Uh, this rocket here, let me pull it out for you. You can see some of the parts that we're going to be doing 
when creating our own. You'll see here we have the tube, two centering rings which align everything. And it goes in there. And then uh, what most people don't do is they don't uh, create this little centering ring um, or I use a tube coupler, but basically it's just to go on the front and it hangs out just a little bit and that gives us some extra surface area on which to glue the, the paper transition. And then of course we have the paper transition itself. Now the paper that I like to use is called Bristol board. B-R-I-S-T-O-L, Bristol, like the city in England. Um, the advantage of Bristol is the, the paper fibers are all in different directions. Uh, normal paper, like an index card paper, all the fibers pretty much run in one direction and this makes it easy to crease the paper. The Bristol board is harder to crease and so you're going to get a nice, uh, a better surface finish on it. Um, so that is the preliminaries um, and in our next video I'll actually show you how to go about building one of these paper transitions.